Nailed it. Bet you can't hit it, huh? 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 Go for it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Artifacts Plus 110 scale X Men Marvel Now Cyclops. If you're trying to pre order this, you can do so at Biggity Big 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Big thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, check the links below. And this is the very first figure from the X Men Marvel Now lineup that we're getting from Kotobukiya. I really like their Avengers Marvel Now figures, and we're starting out with Cyclops over here looking really, really cool already. Look on the side, it says Uncanny X-Men, and you can see some images from comics and stuff right there, which is pretty neat. And then on the back, there's this huge read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. Get some images of the statue. Then right there, there's some concept art of Cyclops, and it says Marvel Now right there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Cyclops out of the packaging. Really good statue. I gotta say, first off, though, I'm not a huge fan of this design, mostly just the head. I don't like the X over the eyes. I'm just not a big fan of that. But as far as the execution of this statue goes, I think they did a really good job. I like how he's sculpted to be kind of a very buff Cyclops, so he's not scrawny looking at all in any way. There's a lot of nice details in this. You can see all these like ribbed areas right over here, and he has all these nice lines, and the paint came out really clean. As far as some paint choices, I, I think some are questionable. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at the base over here. Uh, he has the standard magnetic base that we get with the Marvel Now figures, so it's magnetized. It says Marvel Now right there. And then you can see Cyclops has magnets under his feet, and you can just plop them on there. And he stays strong enough where he won't fall over, but it's not strong enough where it could carry the base. So you're just looking at the head sculpt, and like I said earlier, I don't like the X over the eyes thing. I just don't like this design. Uh, I think they did a good job of replicating the look, though. You can see right over here, like, there's this section of his eyebrow that it looks like maybe not all of the eye is totally covered by the X. And I'm not putting any of that on Kotobukiya, that's just the way this is designed, so, you know, that, that's basically why I kind of have a problem with this, it's just, it's, I don't know, I don't see why wow, the X over the eyes is here missing the eyes, dude, it's just the design, but anyway, he does have these lines right over here on the inside of the X, which I think look very good, and I like the flesh tone, I like the stern look on his face too, so that's pretty nice, I dig that, you can see the ears right over there, and then the color choice is actually a little weird for me, because this is a burgundy color, and I thought it was supposed to be black and then I looked up some images online and I found numerous images of Cyclops with this burgundy color for the rest of his suit so for me I always thought it was just black and then red but apparently some people draw him burgundy and other people draw him black but regardless I think they did a good job over here like I said I think there's a nice sculpted detail I think the paint came out very clean and at the side of the arm over here you know, very yoked Cyclops. And uh, there is some assembly required with this figure too. You connect the upper torso, well, it's the lower torso really, but yeah, he disconnects over here, and then this forearm piece connects right over there. And you can see in this picture right here, this is how it shows up when you open the box, so there that is. But then looking at the belt right here, this looks really good. I think that came out really clean. Nice silver paint for the belt buckles and everything. And I also like the sculpt right over here with the legs and the knee pads. And I think the paint just came out really clean through and through. I dig this. I think this is some kind of tracking device right here. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but let me know in the comments. But good looking Cyclops statue, you know? I think it's cool that he's all buffed and mean looking. I like that. Now looking at the statue from far away, it may look black over here or it may look burgundy. But anyway, uh, measuring this guy over here uh, from the base, he's standing at about seven and a half inches tall. I guess with the base, it's like eight inches. And then here's Cyclops next to the Marvel Now Artifacts plus Captain America. And they stand more or less around the same height. Similar kind of poses over here here too, both being leaders of the other teams, but yeah, you can have them face off against each other, like, yeah, you can't really have them fight though, they're, they're statues, be careful with the statues. Then to compare Cyclops to another Artifacts Plus X-Men statue, here he is next to the Chimichanga Chompin' Deadpool! And then here's Marvel Now Cyclops next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And speaking of Marvel Legends, I did used to have the Marvel Legends version of this Marvel Now Cyclops, and I gave that one up, I sold it, and that one had none of the details that we're getting with the sculpt on this one, and that's one reason I really like this statue, is that we get all the sculpt the details. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shark in your face. Check out my Patreon account. Your guys' help is much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!
And I haven't seen it at... 